Welcome to this video series focused on learning Microsoft Azure. This series is designed to get you up and running with Microsoft Azure quickly. If you prefer written documentation, the article for this topic can be found on my blog, which will be linked in the video description. This is part two, and we're going to explore the Microsoft Azure portal. The Azure portal can be accessed by going to portal.azure.com and logging in with your Microsoft Azure account. You'll likely be greeted with one of two home pages. The first one is likely to be your private dashboard, which you can customize to have various visuals and performance and service status of your resources. Or the other one is likely to be the standard Azure homepage. I prefer this one as it's generally quicker access to various resources and subscriptions, but you can use whichever one you like. If you want to change your homepage, you can come up to the cog and go to appearance and startup views. And then down at the bottom, change your startup page to either the home page or the dashboard. I'm just going to select the home page and then press apply. While you're here, you can also enable a docked menu if you prefer, which will give you a permanent menu dock on the left hand side where you can favorite various resources and have quick access to whatever services you want, as well as changing the theme of your portal. If you wanted for say a dark mode, either a blue that's not very blue, or just the standard Azure theme. If we go back to the home page, this is where we can start creating resources. So to see all of the services that Azure provides, you can press all services on the left hand side, and this will give you one big list with basically every single service that is available to be created in my, within Microsoft Azure. You'll notice that some of these have preview next to them. This is because this feature is currently in a preview state and is not yet been released into production. You can use these, but I would recommend caution as there is no guarantee that the feature will even come out of the preview mode and it could just be turned off without any notice. So I would recommend not using preview features in production. When you found the services that you like, you can hover over it and star it and it will create a permanent link in your favorites tab and you can just drag and drop to rearrange. And if you want to remove any, you can just hover over it and then tick the star or untick the star and it will remove it from your favorites page. To find features as well, you can use the search bar at the top and just type in basically what it is that you want to do, whether it be virtual machines and it will automatically detect services relevant to your search. It will also set to the marketplace with your query to see if anything matches, as well as give you some documentation based on your search query. The marketplace is great because you can search for third party services. So if I just search for Linux, it will search the marketplace. And then you can just select a third party service and then create a quick resource that way. It's great because there are a lot of built-in template that third party providers have created. So say if you want a PFSense uh, firewall, you can just search for PFSense and then you can create it this way and it will automatically provision the correct resources required. So back on the home page, you don't just have to use the visual GUI to create and manage resources. You can also use the cloud shell. So if you press this, it will open up a cloud shell, either in bash or PowerShell, whichever one you select. And then you can just press create storage and then it will enable you to use the cloud shell, but I'm not going to set this up just yet. You can also go to shell.azure.com and it will basically just create you a full screen shell with either bash or PowerShell, whichever one you want. There's also a great third party tool, which is cmd.ms which has got a big list of all of the portals, not just for Microsoft Azure, but for Microsoft 365, Intune, Azure Active Directory, and it will take you directly to any of the blades. So if you search for virtual machine, you can just press the command or the URL and it will take you directly to the correct blade where you can then create resources or manage any existing resources. And it's great for quick access if you can't remember exactly how to get there and you just want a quick link. So that is a very quick overview of how to navigate the Microsoft Azure portal and do some basic customization 